So first things first here, I just want to say Kelsey and I don't claim to be professional landscape designers or anything of the sort. We've definitely done some DIY landscape projects at our other house and this one is obviously much bigger, but Kelsey had a vision for what she wanted this to look like. She wanted a pathway through here. She wanted to pick a lot of plants that are going to be resistant to the harsh weather that's out here. So this is a south facing landscape, all day sun here from the morning all the way to the evening. So we needed to pick some things that were going to be resilient with that. We also wanted to pick some things that were going to attract some bees and butterflies and things like that. And also we wanted more on the native side. I don't personally really love shrubs and things like that. I guess I shouldn't say that I don't like them, but I don't necessarily love taking them out. If you ever decide there's something that's in the way or you wanna move your landscape around and you the plants don't quite fit the way that you thought, very difficult to remove. They have an extensive root system there. So we decided to go more on the ornamental grass side, which I absolutely love ornamental grasses. And that way, just in the case of the future, we decide we wanna change change something around or the spacing isn't quite the way that we wanted it to be, then we decided that we would rather go that way. They're very resilient plants in terms of those ornamental grasses once they get established. We'll explain what we did here and then show you some final results. There's more work to do. So one of the things that we questioned at the beginning was rock versus mulch in terms of the material that goes in here. And I really love the look of a rock landscape. But because of how hot it is out front of the building with the full sun all day long, I just knew that the rock was going to get very, very hot. We do have the dogs out here. They do like to come off the porch and into the material from time to time. So it wasn't something that we wanted to add a whole bunch of heat to the front of the building. And it can be very difficult to establish some of the plants in there if you don't pick out the right thing, if you're putting them in rock too and it's getting that all day sun and just baking on there. So we decided to go with mulch. Mulch can be some work too when you have to refresh things, but I really like the way that this turned out. It's going to help to cool things down around the base of the plants there, keep some moisture held in. And we're just doing ourselves a favor there compared to trying to fight against the rock. And rock can be very, very expensive too, depending on what you get. Mulch isn't necessarily cheap, but we were able to get some bulk mulch because I do have a dump trailer. So we just went and picked up a bunch of mulch to bring here. A lot cheaper than going with a decorative rock on here too. Let's show you what it looks like so far. We started with an area that's about 12 feet wide and opens up to a larger section as we get to the corner of the building. I prefer a natural edge on the transition from landscape to the front lawn, but the soil was so dry at this point, we'll have to cut it fresh again in the future to clean it up. I created a clean edge against the porch concrete with the skid steer and leveled out the whole landscape area one more time. Everyone will be surprised to find what Ryan picked out to put in the landscape, grass. From there, I made a bigger trench against the cement so we could leave the mulch slightly under the lip when installing the mulch later on. Ernie did a lot of supervising and not a whole lot of work. Working with this dry soil was a challenge, but it was coming together. Um, sir, that is right where I would like to work, please. Excuse us, we need to get started. Hey, excuse me, excuse me, Ernie. Hey, I just had this talk with Ernie. Can you move? He does not care. No, he does not care. Joey. He's gonna get wet. Move. Smells good. And I like the color. Kelsey spaced out the plants and we put down a string line and tape measure to follow along with as we planted. This auger you can attach to a drill came in very handy for planting. Mm -hmm. 
We finished out the day watering the plants in the front section of the landscape. The next day, it was back at it for more planting. A brief but much needed rain shower ended this day early. A vision of a pathway was starting to come together, but there was a lot more planting to do. We spent the better part of the morning with that and began to finish the final mulching. So before I show you the final result, I did want to say a lot of people have mentioned on the videos that I need to bury this thing. And eventually the plan for this is to bury it all the way across right here, sort of where this mulch stops, and then build a little rain garden here along this edge of the turf. I don't really want the grass right up against the rock driveway anyway, so that I have left to plan out to have a bit of a rain garden over there. Now, maybe long term, the other plan would be, I would really love to be able to save this water. We get so much water off of this roof with how big our building is that um, it would need to be a huge, huge tank buried underground or something. But to start with, because of how much water there is, I think we're just gonna build a little rain garden area. Not sure exactly when we can get that all done, but have no fear, this thing isn't gonna be staying the way that it is forever. Yesterday we just finished the mulching of the rest that we had left on this path area. Now Kelsey would really like to have like a flagstone path through here eventually. It just wasn't something time-wise and material-wise and everything that we wanted to complete right away. So we just decided you can definitely still tell that there's supposed to be a path right through here even when we did the mulching. And this stuff all needs to grow up quite a bit and mature, but that's the way it goes with landscape. It's not going to be 100% full right at the beginning just like it, any other lawn project or anything it takes some time for everything to grow in and establish one thing that's also going to add quite a bit to this area is right in between here where there's sort of this gap it's where we bought some five foot long cedar box planters we're going to have a whole bunch of more annual type plants in there that we can switch out year to year but i have a few favorites that get eaten a lot by rabbits but we're having them up off the ground here a little ways in those boxes so those haven't arrived yet but we have one for this side and one for this side of the porch that should look really good added in there too. And you're probably wondering why this section doesn't have any mulch in it. Well, I came up with the idea as we were working on this project that I wanted the main entrance to be grass and be exactly the same grass as what's out here. So what I want to do is just plant this. It, it will look like one walkway coming into our main entrance and that the grass and the front lawn all blends in with here and becomes one thing. So we're going to do some border along here on each side of the mulch to hold that in. That way I won't have any of the mulch going over into the grass, but excited to get that going. This big open area right here was planned out to have a little fountain in it. At least that's what we're wanting to do. Maybe somewhere right in here have one of those three tiered fountains or something and or also have a little sitting bench. Once all this stuff grows up around the edges, those grasses on the end I think will get to about five feet high. Uh, most of this stuff out in here will get to you know three feet tall or so once it starts to mature. This will be more of a surrounded garden area and we thought it would look cool to found and maybe just a small little bench there too that could easily be removed if you don't want it sitting there all the time but that's the plan for that
that's the landscape project for right now. I'm sure there's a few things to add in yet and a few things that will probably change over time when we learn more about these plants and how everything's going to fit together. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.